Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showroom. And John posted in one of our forums, how do I work with these TTL extension cords that are on the market? Do they really work for my camera and maintain the TTL capability? Well, John, yes, there's many of these out on the market. There's some original manufacturer ones and some aftermarket ones, and they're very simple to work with. Basically, you're going to have one end which has the contacts that you're going to mount onto the hot shoe, just as if it was a flash, and then on the other end, you're going to have the hot shoe as if it was your camera hot shoe where you're going to mount the strobe. And this allows you to put this on a light stand or a tripod because most of the time you have a quarter inch thread adapter on the bottom. So here's one for a cannon. So it's going to go again straight on and you want to make sure that this is flush because if not, then you're not making the proper contact. So push it all the way in and then usually they have a locking foot in the back. Do that so that it doesn't come loose while you're shooting. Now we're going to put our Artura 958 Professional Series Flash on there. And again, this is now going to mount straight onto here as if this was a camera. And lock the shoe. I have it set to TTL because that's one of the more popular shooting modes on the market now. And again, you can extend it however you choose, wherever you're going to place this it's going to fire your flash and it's going to work on TTL. So that means that you now can put the flash above a crowd, put it underneath, wherever you choose to, and you still have the TTL capability. But remember, you have to work within the bounds of the size of the cable that you're working with. And like I said, it does come in other itinerations. But here's a perfect example of what happens. Notice that this unit does not have a built-in strobe. This one does. But I still want to work with the flash off camera. So again, we're going to mount this on here, lock it in place to make sure there's no mishaps. And then this is the unit where we're now going to place our 958 Altura strobe on here. And it has to go straight and flush and lock it in place and then ready to shoot and what happens it's sending the signal but somehow something occurred here in the connection well don't fret this is where having the capability of being prepared for any situation so now I'm going to pop up my internal strobe make sure I have that activated and then I'm going to switch to my wireless mode here and now I can still do this and be able to control the flash wherever I choose to but it's just being done wirelessly so you always have to be prepared for situations like that where something like this can fail you still have the capability of controlling your flash source from your camera if you have a built-in strobe or you have a secondary strobe always be prepared don't give up right away and say well my strobe is gone I now have to start working with another light source. If this video was helpful to you, click the like button underneath and remember to subscribe to our channel. Happy shooting!